All right, Pisces. Today is the end of the month. Is it? Oh. Uh, yeah, August 31st, 2023. All right, so let's see what messages we have for the Piscean Collective today. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Into the smoke, we release all energy that does not serve us. All negativity that surrounds us and all fears that limit us. What does Pisces need to know? What do they need to be aware of? Going into September. Hope y'all enjoyed the full moon last night. You guys got some good rest. Um, I know I did. <laughs> all right, so let's see what messages we got for Pisces. All right, messages please for Pisces. You got first chakra Archangel Michael in the house. <laughs> all right, so the protector, all right? Some of you guys can be focused on, uh, I almost wanna say earthly matters, but your home, your roots, staying grounded, the woman holding a coin, beautiful. Focused on your finances. Your, protect, your finances are protected here as well with Archangel Michael. Wow. I seen that on the bottom of the deck too. Anxiety. Some of you guys could be having some type of anxiety. I wonder about what. All right. Man holding a heart. Maybe someone that you love. Um, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio masculine. What else for Pisces? Adjacent possibilities. Doors are opening up. Some of you guys have a lot of options, a lot of choices. Um, new doors may be opening up for you. Ooh, financial constraint, strategy, and magician in the mirror. Some of you guys are manifesting or strategizing something. Um, that could be what you have this anxiety about is, you know, maybe some type of financial restrictions or constraints. Excuse me. All right, first chakra, Archangel Michael. I'm gonna read these for you guys, give you some extra clarity. Stability and security. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, feminine energy here as well. Um, Michael holds a beautiful globe of red energy at the first chakra, which is located at the base of the spine. This is the place where your sense of stability and security is stored. When this card is upright, it reveals that your energy is flowing freely regarding these issues. Even if you've had problems with feeling secure in the past, these challenges are be beginning to be resolved at this time. Archangel Michael is with you, bringing you the strength and personal stability. You are capable of taking action and moving forward on your path. So allow yourself to feel increasing faith in your own power and security now and always. And then that comes to the woman holding a coin, number 42. Um, so woman holding a coin, female connection and money, health and value. The elegantly dressed woman on this card sits in, on a beautiful chair holding a bright golden coin. When the card comes upright in a woman's reading, it may refer to her directly and to a successful endeavor regarding her own finances or health. This card could also signal a woman of support or assistance regarding these issues. She may give you financial advice or connect you with someone who does. This woman may be someone you meet where you make your money, or it may be a woman of wealth or value. Either way, this card is telling you to be on the lookout for helpful assistance or even the possibility of a new love or friendship connected to a woman of wealth and business. So some of you guys could be meeting a wealthy woman. Um, for others of you guys, this could be someone coming in to help you with some type of financial matters, health matters. This could be a personal trainer for some or someone who... I'm also getting someone mm, who like a dieting plan or a healthy eating plan or some type of advice in regards to that. Um, if this is you directly, um, this could be you focusing on your finances and your health, your overall well-being, your stability, your, your security here. With Archangel Michael, I feel like um, this is staying grounded, it's, you know. Um, heavy protection surrounding this. So some of you guys may be um, building something up that I feel like is strong and secure, working on your, this is someone who's putting out good energy. If this is you, the feminine listening, this could be you putting out that good energy, focusing on, you know, what it is that you put in your body, what it is that you focus your intentions towards. 
Um, and it has to do with your stability, your finances, your overall well-being, um, making good financial decisions, making good decisions when it comes to health as well. Um, that's also bringing in, when you put that good energy out, that's what you're attracting, okay? So whether you're a man or a woman, and even if you're a man, you could be embodying this woman holding a coin type energy, and that's what you're attracting back towards you. Now, then we come to number 18, where there's anxiety, all right, worry or distress. The woman on this card is filled with anxiety, worry about something that causes her a great deal of discomfort. Receiving this card upright may indicate that you're experiencing a time of increasing stress, perhaps even a situation that you find yourself rotting about much of the time. However, you will notice the scene outside the window. The storm is distant and perhaps even moving away. Whatever is going on, this card is telling you to release the worry and let yourself relax. Broading and fretting will never solve things, so trust in yourself and your process. When you live in a relaxed heart and mind, uh, you're far more likely to receive the solutions that you seek. Yeah, because oftentimes when, you, when you're when you in this anxiety, this fear, this distressful type of energy, or you let some some type of fear or worry consume you know, your every waking thought, it's hard to have those clear thoughts about a situation or to make decisions accordingly to, to alleviate these things. Uh, and also, if there's something here that you're stressing about, that's the energy you're attracting towards you. So be careful with that. Try to let go and uh, trust in the universe that all, you know, everything will be as it, as it is. And I know there are some situations where obviously you need to take action, but this is telling you, you know, don't spend all your time worrying and fretting. Either take action or try to release that fear and that worry so that you can think clearly to make decisions accordingly. Okay, you got financial constraints here with number 13. Restrictions concerning money. This card shows an old-fashioned safe with little money and lots of cobwebs and dust. Money may be tight at this time, so rein in on your spending and be circumferent about the financial requirements in your life. This is not a time of indulgence, so be aware of what is really important. Consciously choose your expenditures. I hope I said that correctly. There is a big difference between what you need and what you want. This card is telling you to take care of your needs and bide your time. Things will get better, but for now, be willing to live a little bit more conservatively and always value money and the good things you already have. Okay, and then you have adjacent possibilities. So if there is any fear surrounding money, this card is telling you that um, um, these financial constraints will lift, but there may be um, a need to be a little bit more conservative or focus on what it is that you actually need, not things that you want. Um, number 24. Many unconsidered options. For some of you guys, this could even be some type of um, unexpected uh, financial obligations. All right, number 24, adjacent possibilities, many unconsidered options. Sometimes the force of habit keeps you stuck and unaware of potentially healthier and happier choices at hand. Yet every moment gives you the option to open a different door and to take a different course, whether it is in your thoughts, behaviors, or major life decisions. Unlike the indecision card, which indicates confusion and vilication about which course to take, the Adjacent Possibilities card is here to tell you that you have many options and it is time to take a wider look at things. As you consider the many life choices available, you'll feel more and more empowered and motivated to make the decisions that bring happiness, strength, and forward motion. In terms of your goals, this card could indicate unknown and previously unconsidered ideas. Perhaps there is a marketing tool that you haven't thought of, a connection that you haven't tapped, or even an entirely different direction that would be more suited to you. Be conscious and aware and be flexible and willing to take on a new different action now. So there's a need to be flexible, Pisces. For some of you guys, this could be shifting directions completely. Um, for others of you guys, this is just expanding something. Um, you know, a new marketing tool, trying an option that getting out of that, um, that creature of habit type of energy, getting out of that mundane, doing the same thing every day over and over and over. Um, there's a need to expand or to, to incorporate some type of new idea or new endeavor to expand your horizons here. Then you come to number 45. All 
And the 45, I open to it. Okay, man holding a heart, dealing with family love or emotions. This tender man sits with flowers all around, holding a heart in his hand. For a man, this signals a greater clarity about emotions and their purpose in your life. Um, there could be a more balanced approach to family and love at this time, even if these have been confusing experiences for you in the past. For some, this card upright could signal the presence of a new man in your life or one who tends to be more thoughtful and aware. Whether or not this man is a love interest or a friend, he brings high intention to help where personal projects, family, and home issues are concerned. So or depending on whatever it is you're interested in here, uh, there's definitely the presence of someone here who's... Whether you're a feminine or a masculine or masculine and masculine, feminine, feminine, whatever it is that you're looking for, there's new connections that are coming in. Possibilities are opening up. There's a need to not live in the energy of worry. Even if there is some type of financial constraints, there's a need to possibly strategize. Uh, be aware and conscious of what it is that you're manifesting. Pay attention to your emotions, your desires, um, and also setting your intentions and setting them free. When you, it's like also talking about like that poverty mindset or that lack of what's it called um hold on a second. all right sorry about that so uh for some of you guys is what this is signaling is that there is someone here who's coming into your life to help you um the storm is passing the storm is lifting financial constraints could be lifting but there is a need to be conservative or be strategic with how you spend your time, your energy, your resources, okay? Um, with Archangel Michael being here, I do feel like, um, like this is telling me you're going to be okay. There is protection here surrounding whatever this is, your roots uh, being grounded. But this is, you're needing to get out of that fear, that anxiety, or, you know, that, I always say it's like trying to hold on to something too tightly or you're striving, striving, trying to work towards something. You're actually going to push it further away. Now, I'm not saying don't go work for something. I'm just saying um, release the worry because ultimately with the magician and the mirror being here, it's like this very powerful energy. So be careful what it is that you're manifesting. If you're com if you're constantly worried about your finances or you're constantly worried about a certain subject or you're constantly worried about something, you're going to manifest that into your reality, okay? I do see possibilities open up. There may be a need for you to explore these possibilities. Um, so put yourself out there. There could also be someone coming in, man, man or woman, or this could be a man. For, for some of you guys, this could be a man. For some of you guys, this could be a feminine. Um, coming in to help you or to aid in some type of assistance. This could even be you going towards someone else, helping someone else. This could be an exchange is what I'm trying to get out here. All right, so let's see. What additional information do you have for Pisces? What do they need to know going into the month of September? Three cards, please. You got Kuan Yin, okay? Care and compassion. Choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. So that's kind of what I was feeling. Some of you guys could be this person offering a helping hand. Or this is given the energy of love. So like an exchange. Equal give and take. Um, equal reciprocity here. Do what is right for everyone involved. So someone's coming and helping you out with one thing. You help that person maybe in a different way. Um, depending on what side of this, this you're on. Okay. Let's see what else. Whoever I'm reading for too, I also feel like someone here is very um, genuine, uh, caring and compassionate. That's why this Archangel Michael is here. It's like there's some type of protection because it's it's like spirit, God, your angels, whoever knows where your heart is, where your heart is at in a situation. And that's bring that's why you're being protected, or that's why um, things are going to open up for you. That's why something's being sent towards you. No matter what it is that you're going through right now, but I do see there is some type of strategic energy surrounding possibly your finances, or there's some type of my ear just started like radio waving. 
don't know how else to explain that. It stopped quickly though. All right, so Sanat Kumara, light activation. I hope I said that right. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. <laughs> and Lord Ganesh, I love it. Infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. What was I just saying? <laughs> Obstacles are being re removed. Infinite abundance is available to you now. Options are opening up for you. You need to... And then you got Archangel Michael right there too. Hey. All right. So trusting heaven, you are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Like I was saying... Say your intentions or even it's almost like your angels know your intentions and that's why you are being protected here. So, you know, surrender your concerns. Halvenia, okay? Surrender your concerns. Whatever this is, is causing you anxiety. Surrender it. Let it go, okay? There's nothing that's going to come over worrying and stressing over a situation. Allow a miracle to, to occur. When you're holding on to something, you can't allow. If you're holding on to like a financial lack or you're holding on to some type of anxiety, you're, you're consuming space and it's restricting the flow of energy. Uh, it's restricting the flow of energy. So Spirit is saying release it and allow a miracle to occur. Allow something to come in with if you're holding on to all this like negative energy, how can something positive come in? It's a block, right? So surrender it. Let it go. Awakening presence. The universe is with you. A cloak of protection. Wear a cloak of protection and love. So some of you guys may need to uh, wear a covering over your head. You should probably take that advice. All right. And then you got Kut to me, cloak of wisdom. You already know the answer that you seek. Trust what you know. So whatever it is that you're searching for, I feel like you already know the answer. It might be within you. It may be something that you're ignoring. It may be something that you're putting off or um, what do you call it? Procrastinating on. But I feel like you already know what you need to do or what needs to be done or what steps to take. This is a like decluttering too, so that you can allow some type of cl clarity of thought to come through. Yeah. All right. Let's get a few more cards for Pisces. All right. All right. Three more cards for Pisces. What else does Pisces need to know? Going into September. Friendship. That was on the bottom of the deck. That's funny. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Yeah. So that could be this person, this either this woman holding a coin or a man holding a heart for whatever side of the situation you're on. You could be this woman holding a coin and this man holding a heart. Someone who you may be someone who's very about your finances, business oriented, you know, someone who's staying grounded, you're focused on your health. And that's what's that positive energy that you're putting out is bringing in somebody with, you know, some type of a love, you know, someone who um, is thoughtful, compassionate, caring, um, somebody who could, you know, be of assistance in a place that maybe I'm not going to say that you lack, but of something that is not, you know, in your energy field currently, or men, if you have, if you're this woman holding up or <laughs> men, if you are this man holding a heart and you have, you know, all this love to give, you may be, but maybe, you could use some help, you know, in the financial area or, you know, maybe some assistance, you know, with some type of earthly matters or staying grounded. You two may make like, I know these aren't like counterpart energies with this woman holding a coin and man holding a heart, but you guys may balance each other out. Like, I feel like this is, um, I almost want to say like yin and yang energy. Um, and that's weird because I normally wouldn't get that out of these cards. But this is, this could be something, this could even just be a friendship straight up, like for some of you guys like this. Um, but it's going to be something that's going to bring about some type of balance or healing or assistance or help in some, some area of your life where I don't want to say you're lacking, but you may, uh, uh, I don't know the right word, so I'm not going to say it, but all right, let's keep going. More, more information for Pisces for the, going into the month of September. Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life and gratitude. This is beautiful. So humor and gratitude. This is, you know, releasing that anxiety, finding the humor in difficult situations, being grateful for the things that you do have, not the things that maybe you don't have or that 
you know, could be better in your life. This is being grateful for what it is that you do have. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. So even if it is something negative, it's like, hey, I'm grateful for the lesson. I'm grateful seeing the humor, seeing the bright side. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. So realizing this is un also understanding. Um, let me not look at that because that's going to throw me off. Um, this is also... I think it did throw me off. Okay. Um, oh, taking, so it is a card in this deck that I was thinking. It's um, realizing that finding, finding the, um, finding the good out of a situation, even out of negative situations. Okay. Well, now I learned this. Now I know this. Now I can do this better. Now this will never happen. Now I've completed this. Now I can move on to this. Now, whatever the case may be, it's it's taking good or bad situations and, and finding the bright side in them, being grateful for the experiences that you've been through. Okay. So it's like, even if you've had like some negative shit that's happened in your life, it's like you learn from it, you grew from it. So I'm grateful for that. Even if it sucked, even if it really was terrible, I'm happy, you know, that I made it through it, or I'm happy that, you know, I can close this cycle out and start something new. I'm grateful for whatever. This is seeing the brighter side of a situation. It's putting out that positive energy and but in return, you're attracting that to you. Now on the bottom of the deck, you have relationships. I'm attracted to those who serve my higher good. Excuse me. Like I said, this friendship could turn into a relationship, a very abundant relationship where you can feel free, abundant and free. <laughs> Freedom and abundance. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness and abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. And you have the magician here with strategy. So again, I can manifest whatever it is that I desire. Okay, It may take some, some planning. It may take some type of strategy. It may take um, you to be resourceful. Um, but I also see there is some type of hidden helpers or assistance here coming in to help further aid you in your highest direction. And because I'm attracted to those people who, are so, who serve my higher good. So it's like you're attracting people who are um, on your wavelength or the energy that you're putting out. You're attracting people who will serve your higher good, not ones that will, um, you know, bring you down because I don't feel like you're living in that lower, lower energy or at least whoever I'm reading for, you're not, okay? Or this is, you know, getting out of that energy of dwell, focusing on the lighter things of life, knowing that, hey, I am protected. Even if, even if this happens and it sucks, even if this, you know, a relationship, work, love, life, whatever it is, whatever is happening, it's whoever I'm reading for. This is someone who's like, okay, whatever's meant to be will be. If this is going to go this way, it's like being able to adjust, adapt, go with the flow, adjacent possibilities. Know that when one door closes, there's another door that's opening for you. Okay. Even if there is some type of financial constraints, this could cause some fear or anxiety, but I see you releasing it and focusing on what is to come. What, you know, okay, so let's just put it in a job sense. Say you lose your job or you're no longer working for your job or you change your job. You know, it's like, okay, now you can focus on something better. Now I have more energy to give to something else. I, you know, being excited for what, what else is to come, being grateful for it, seeing the humor in a situation, focusing on the lighter side of life. Um, some of you guys, I feel like strongly man or woman here, you're going to be meeting someone who's a friendship. This is someone who's been sent to you by Archangel Michael. This is some type of protection. This is a kindred connection. This is somebody who's sent to help you. Okay. In an area that um, is going to bring some type of balance, whether you're the feminine or the masculine or, you know, for some, if you guys, you know, um, are interested in the same sex, this could just be, you know, a friendship. It may not lead to something, but for some of you guys, this will lead to a relationship. All right, let's get some. I'm going to get one card from the Priestess of the Light, and then I'm going to close it out. I got an appointment what my daughter's school I gotta get to all right so let's see priestess of the light can we have one message please for pisces that they can take with them going into the month of september one message please that was quick miracles ancient wisdom calming the waters yeah calming calming your emotions pisces um Calming the waters, peace, peaceful self-regulation on the bottom of the deck. 
So being able to regulate your own waters here. <laughs> All right, number 39. What time is it actually? Because I might get one more Oracle card. Uh, I got 10 minutes. So, all right, 39, Miracles. High Priestess of Ancient Societies holds the spark of human consciousness between her fingers, gathering the energy of the heavens above and connecting it to the Renaissance and the earth below. Serenely, serenely focused, she aligns these powerful frequencies with the unseen vibrations of universal intention. She is the priestess of mysteries, representing miracles, divinity, and magical wisdom and power. Ancient societies vibrated at a frequency powerful enough to build miraculous structures, including the Great Pyramids of Egypt and the Singular Stone Obelisk. Uh, I'm probably saying that wrong. Obelisk. Obelisk. I don't know. Arranged in formations designated or designed, excuse me, to direct massive amounts of energy. They reveal the magical feats achievable by harnessing the power of ancient wisdom and inner knowing. This card is telling you that you now have the ability to, to approach your life in this profoundly aligned way. You are moving into a time when miracles in every, na in every, nature, or man, every nature can be manifested. In fact, uh, they are your birthright. Great accomplishments are yours when you let go of the striving and open yourself to the ancient wisdom and quietly filtering through all part of your consciousness connected to eternal truths. So that's kind of what we were just talking about. Um, like these things, these accomplishments is your birthrights. Okay. These are already yours. Um, when you let go of striving and open yourself to ancient wisdom and quietly filtering through that part of your consciousness connected to eternal truth. So blue Reiki light radiates around this medicine woman, indicating that these upcoming miracles may include healing. You may have the wisdom to reestablish order and balance in your physical, mental, and emotional life. This is a reminder to, uh, to engage in sacred physical practices such as yoga, dance, tai chi, uh, kui, kui gong, I'm not sure what that is, um, or walking in nature as well as sacred mindful practices such as meditation and prayer. Focus and serenity will power your consciousness creation. As you journey deep into your inner knowing, you are a seer and great manifester. Your own ancient wisdom will unlock the door to life-changing miracles. Affirmation is, I receive and accept the wisdom and the power and the ancient societies of the ancient societies, excuse me, truly exciting miracles are appearing in my life. So you guys can say that affirmation if you'd like. Um, so again, being open, you have the power here. Uh, a lot of you guys too, with this, you are a seer and a great manifester. You have the magician here as well. So it's like, whatever you see, whatever you dream, you can achieve. And Pisces, we are the sign of, you know, dreamers. We are ruled by Neptune. So oftentimes we can imagine things, uh, you know, see things, um, and um, your own ancient wisdom will unlock the door to life-changing miracles. So again, letting those miracles in and letting go of um, surrender your concerns and allow miracles to occur. So it's here all over this reading. Some of you guys, uh, blue light may be uh, helpful for some of you guys. Also doing any of those practices such as yoga, walking, getting out in nature, tai chi, um, Q-U-G-O-N-G. I'm not quite sure what that is, but you guys can look it up if you'd like to. Even dancing, any type of physical. That's crazy because I just literally got down and did some yoga last night when I was cooking dinner. And I was like, I need to get on the floor. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, this can help balance your physical, mental, and your emotional life. So Pisces, um, let's get one more card since I got four minutes. <laughs> Since so I got four minutes. All right, here's your one card from the Sacred Forest Oracle deck. I just heard still waters run deep. Still waters run deep. Calm waters, calming the waters, peaceful self regulation. Still waters run deep. All right, can we get one card for Pisces? I'm not sure. Take that how, how you want to take it. So you got the dragonfly spirit change. 
and stag spirit leadership. Um, change number 12. If you guys enjoyed this reading, be sure to hit that like button. It helps out a lot. All right, it helps these messages get out to those who need to view it, especially positive messages like this. I feel like a lot of people could need to hear something to, you know, further aid them in, you know, a positive direction and help them get over or like conquer any type. This is all about changing mindset. You know, when you change your mindset, it's like allowing miracles to occur. When you stay stuck in that mindset and everybody is, how do I say it? Everybody's guilty of it. Everybody does it at, from time to time, you know, depending on what it is that you're going through. Sometimes it can be hard to, to release and let the universe take over, release the anxiety when you got some crazy shit going on in your life or even people around you that it's hard to disconnect from but when you can shift your energy you can also shift the others around you so staying in that positive mindset letting go of fear worry stress anxiety living in you know instead of being like oh i don't have enough money for my rent this month or oh how am i going to pay this bill be like oh i'm going to get that money to pay this bill you know like it's about how you talk to yourself so with this financial constraints um you know, again, talk about the possibilities. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to woo, woo, woo. Instead of saying, I don't know how I'm going to do this. You're basically telling the universe, yeah, Pisces, you don't know how you're going to do this. You know, when you tell them, oh, I'm going to do this, the universe, that's one thing I, I don't know. I haven't said it in a while. So for those of you guys that are new here, just know the universe always answers yes. And this is a way that I can remind myself how to speak positivity upon myself and others. And so if I'm like, oh, um, man, I suck at doing this. The universe is like, yeah, you suck at doing this. You know, if you're like, oh, I'm going to get better at doing this. The universe is like, yeah, you're going to get better at doing this. And it's helped shifting you um, with how you talk to yourself and others. Or, you know, if you're talking about someone, try not to, if you say those things, you're basically projecting that negative energy towards them. Try to turn it in a positive way so that if the universe did answer yes, you would like the reply. Okay. It's a great, it's a great trick to know. I'm trying to tell you. All right. So the dragonfly spirit change. This card is letting you know that it is all right to change directions. Didn't you have a card about that already? Yeah. Cause I've only done one reading today. <laughs> That's crazy. This card is letting you know that it is all right to change directions. It's okay to change your mind. You don't need to be consistent at every turn. This is the time to put the traditions and expectations of others aside. Instead, you are called to create your own traditions. You are free to express yourself and let your spirit fly. Dragonflies are acrobats of the sky. Not only can they fly backward, they fly upside down and they turn 360 degrees while looking graceful as they do so. Dragonfly spirit urges you to take on her same fearless daring her same fearless daring that's it period okay go beyond predictable behavior just because something has always been done a certain way doesn't mean that it needs to continue to be done that way wow you can't control the exact circumstances of your life you can control what meaning you give to them exactly so again seeing the humor of difficult situations um you can choose you have the power to control you have the power to choose the meaning that you give to certain circumstances, even if it's something that you feel like is out of your control. Um, um, select meaning meanings that empower you. Exactly. For this is the time to be carefree, wild and unpredictable, Pisces. Dragonflies are ancient, taking to the skies 300 to 350 million years ago. They have adapted through millennia and thus survived when many creatures have not. These masters of change are a reminder that change will heal you. Change is good. Okay, the spirit of the dragonfly says, be willing to change your perspective and good fortune will follow. Sometimes you need to back up to go forward. As people get older, they find it harder to change. So activate youthfulness. Be willing to make changes without a hesitation, Pisces. Mm, I love it. All right, I'm going to leave you guys here. I got to go, but I'll be back later with some more readings for you guys. Happy last day of the month. Um, love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.